Welcome back to Pathologic. We've got about four hours or so until it is 11 p.m., which is when Reuben should be showing up to the Kane's residence to exhume Simon's body, which is what we want to stop because we believe that Simon's body might be infected with the plague. So I want to be back here by 11 o'clock. We got about four hours. My character, as you can see in the top right, is very, very exhausted. So I need to sleep very soon because I'm going to be completely exhausted by the time Reuben uh, shows up at 11 o'clock. So we're going to head over to Ava's place and do a little sleeping. But uh, before that, we're not exactly about to pass out from exhaustion. So let's actually go speak with... Uh, well, I was going to say let's go speak with Worm if they're there, but obviously Worm is not there anymore. So I guess the Worm that I found, the one that I chased to young Vlad's place and the one that tried to attack me, I guess that's maybe the same Worm that I saw over here then. Is that woman okay? Just like bending over. Are you okay? Huh. Let's just go check over here, see if they maybe left something behind. Not a trace of him. Yeah, well, in that case, let's sleep. Feels like such a waste to sleep, but oh, my character's so exhausted, I think I have to. I'm just thinking, is there anybody I forgot to talk to? I don't think so. See if Ava has anything new to say. Oh, uh, what is there to talk about now? That ominous singing outside the window is gnawing at me. Who could be singing at a time like this? I can't hear anything. I had a feeling you would come. Very little time has passed, but I feel hungry and exhausted again. Since you've decided to fight death, you will have to be very careful. It's September. You will be dying with every breath of our air. What does September have to do with it? Is it about the blooming of those plants? Yeah, this step is full of various herbs. They fill the air with dizzying vapors. White whip. Twire and swevery are dangerous in August and September, when herbs surrender their juices to the sun. People tend to get headaches this time of year. Heart sufferers lie in bed with pain. My heart aches too. God, that sounds horrible. So that's why everybody's complaining about headaches and pain. How do you people live here? Twire is a rare herb, so usually it's bearable. But this year it's unbelievably plentiful. The elderly say that this is a phenomenal... Wait, that this is phenomenal? Nothing like this has happened before. They think it's a bad omen. Well, I don't believe that. But the air is droning. Can't you feel it? Don't you feel dizzy? Yes, the air is heavy. You need to sleep often. Never go hungry. Drink more water. You need to look after yourself properly. If you feel sick, forget everything else and get some rest. Otherwise, you may die of a heart attack or bleeding. Be careful, all right? The more I think and do, the faster I die. That's symbolism if I ever saw it. Anything more to say? It's so quiet. Nope. Okay, so we need to rest. Let's rest. Oh wow, the most you can rest for is six hours. So let's say, uh, let's see, we've got four hours until 11 o'clock, right? We want to get there a little bit early. So let's sleep for three. Oh my god, that really didn't do that much for my exhaustion. 
I think I need to sleep like 10 hours, maybe 12 hours to get a full, uh, to take my exhaustion all the way down. Yeah, so we've got about, uh, about 40 minutes, 45 minutes until 11 o'clock. The first time I've ever, ever been outside when it's dark. And it's raining, too. I wouldn't mind getting some food. Does this place sell food? Nah, no, medicine. Let's check out this store over here. the spire. Or the polyhedron. I'll go up there one day. Ah, it's a clothes shop. Damn. Well, those are the only two shops on this place. I guess I can go across, try to go there. How much time do I have? 30 minutes? Yeah, I can make it. They didn't say to arrive exactly at 11 o'clock. I think they said to not expect Reuben before 11 o'clock. So if I'm a little bit later, I think it's fine. Just trying to use my time as efficiently as possible. That is a food shop. Okay. I think it's the one I visited before. Hopefully they've restocked or I'm gonna have to buy some of that nasty stale bread. Ooh, more stuff in here. Hello, clone? Hmm, doesn't look like they've restocked. Uh, I don't know how to cook fresh meat, so I don't think it's worth buying that. I guess bread. But if I can cook it, it's probably very nourishing. But how do I cook it? I really don't know. Like, I don't see any way to start a fire or combine inventory items. That doesn't seem to be a thing. And I still have tons of kerosene used for refilling the lamp, which is strange because I've never seen a lamp that I can refill anywhere. Should I just buy the bread? And if I don't cook this soon, it's probably going to go bad. Because I think food can go bad with time. Like, I think bread can turn moldy if you hold on, for it, uh, hold on to it for too long. I want to say, I'm not entirely certain. My memory's a bit hazy about that, but I feel like maybe. Hmm... I'm just gonna buy the bread. Okay, hunger's pretty low. Let's head back to the Kane residence, see if we can meet Reuben. I think something very big is about to happen. Because I'm supposed to find the killer by the end of the night, right? And I'm going to be meeting Reuben right before midnight. What time is it? Got 12 minutes.
two minutes. meat in a fireplace like this? I don't I don't understand how I would be able to though. I can't even use the fireplace. Reuben? It'll take them a long time to find me here. You are Reuben. Also, you're extraordinarily tall. Jesus Christ, man. Either I'm really short or you're really tall. The grip of the manhunt. Simon was doomed. No, I'd rather not believe this. Greetings, friend. I heard news of your arrival. Everyone has. Are you here to examine the body as well? My dear colleague, I do hope you haven't touched it yet. I haven't. Is there a problem? Simon's body, wherever it is, poses a dire threat. I suspect he has died of a contagious disease. Are you sure? Well, doesn't matter anyway. If it's that thing again, what do you think it is? Judging from what I've found so far, it could be Febris Typh Typhoidae, Typhoidae, something like that, or Plague. I don't believe it. A second outbreak. Wait a second, I need to regain my senses. Are you sure about this? Do you mean what you say? I am, and I do. If it's the Sand Plague, Master's death was so untimely. If it's the Sand Plague, we only have few more days to live. You see, I have no idea how to stop it. No one does. Your mentor has encountered this before. What is the Sand Plague? I'm only making assumptions. I don't want to believe this. I'd rather have any other plague than this. We have no time to waste. The body must be inspected, isolated, destroyed if necessary. We must take protective measures for that, of course. We need your diagnosis before we can provide reasonable protection. At the moment, you can only buy yellow immunity boosters at the drugstores. They're no good. But I'll try to do something about this. We'll need to take some remedies from Master's old workplace. Did you know he was murdered by his son? An atrocity. Hmm, so even Reuben thinks he was murdered by his son. His son has nothing to do with this. I presume Isidore was infected by Simon and died of the same disease or vice versa. Let us not waste any more time. You're right. Let's make haste. I'll get everything ready for the examination. Meanwhile, let's arrange for the body to be isolated. Kane is keeping it in a cold place. I'll keep you informed. If we act deliberately and with calm mind, we can prevent this epidemic. Stay strong. I won't leave you on your own. Perfect valor is to do without witness what one would do before all the world. Okay, so what exactly do I have to do now? Is this the end of what I need to do for tonight, or is there more? What's today's quest? We have identified the killer. Oh, I was supposed to find the killer, otherwise I'll die in the night, right? So I found the killer, so I'm, I'm safe. Um, although we've yet to apprehend him. Reuben will collect the necessary equipment to protect him as he works with the bodies. In the meantime, I should inform... Uh, Georgie Kane of what the primary investigation has shown. Okay. You are not Georgie, but I'll talk what with you anyway. Gloomy this year. Nothing to say, okay.
so the Saburovs have offered patronage to some changeling. Who is she? I've been told of your initial verdict. You assert that Simon Kane was not killed by a human or a Shabnak demon, but died of a natural cause or succumbed to some physical sickness. Is that what you are saying? I wouldn't say he died naturally. He died of a mysterious disease. Microbes are more efficient killers than demons. Is that a hypothesis or a fact supported by evidence? It's not a proven fact yet, it's a hypothesis. Mere hypothesis is not something I'm willing to accept. Furthermore, the same rhetoric is widely employed by the people who want to hinder the murder investigation at any cost. The same people are spreading false rumors of civil disorder which, as they would have it, took over the town. The same people who would happily sacrifice human life to maintain a semblance of order. What would you say to that? Uh, hmm, these are my only two options. I'd say that order must be restored. And I would rather say... And I would rather say-say otherwise. I don't think it's supposed to be say-say. I would rather say otherwise. This whole narrative is much too convenient for those covering for the murderer. The murderer who knew how to take Simon's life and keeps that secret to themselves. What if they do not stop at that? They're still... Uh, Georgie's still assuming that there is a murderer. That itself is a hypothesis, not a fact, no? What if there is no murderer? Who are you trying to catch? Till the very last moment, I will hope that the murderer does exist. I'm not trying to disabuse you of your opinion. However, if you're right, that is a death sentence for us all. Look for the murderer as long as you can. Sure. Let us go looking for a coin under a street lamp, just because there's more light that way. Is that what you want? Yes. Something that was brought into light does not necessarily equal something studied in depth. Not everything that has been lit with a torch has been examined. We are counting on your... Pers... What is that word? Pers... Bigacity? Perspicacity? Perspicacity? I don't know what that means. Is that related to perspective? Perspicacity? Find a rational solution to the problem that we would have otherwise approached intuitively. He who is mute can see. He who is blind can scream. Hmm. As you wish. But what the hell does that mean for what I do now? The initial findings suggest that Simon King was killed by a highly contagious disease. It seems I will not be the first to meet the killer. Dr. Rubin has better chances at that. I just cannot help but think they were Katarina's prophecy. Uh, that were Katarina's prophecy to come true. It would have made the situation even more convoluted than it already is. So, do I just need to sleep and wait until morning? Yeah, this is the beast-like fugitive, which I guess I failed. I can't think of anything else to do with that quest. Um, I guess at this point I just sleep. How am I doing? My stats. Uh, I'm still pretty exhausted, so I think I should just sleep until the morning. Yeah, let's go ahead and sleep. On. Let me check these bins over here before I go to Ava's place. 
so many bottles of water. What is that symbol in the bottom left corner of the screen that just showed up? What does that mean? It just popped up for a second and I have no freaking clue what it means. It's creeping me out. There's all sorts of weird symbols that I don't understand. Like, I think in one of these screens, uh, which one was it? Is the map? Yeah, in the map, if you press this button down here, this pops up. I, I don't know what this is. These aren't buttons, I can't click them. I don't know what I'm looking at. Like, microbes or whatever that is, a key and a um, drink of some sort, medicine? What, what is this? Bizarre. Oh, wait a minute. I was gonna chug a bunch of water before I go to sleep, because water decreases my hunger by a little bit, but it does make me more exhausted. But I'm about to sleep, so I guess... There we go, almost max exhaustion. I might regret that, I'm not quite sure. Okay, anything to say to me, Ava, before I go to sleep? We sometimes... Nope. The day is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theater. Hmm. Fascinating. Should I sleep for maybe one more hour? There we go. Almost minimum exhaustion. Wait, anything in here? Nah, it's empty. A new mime performance at the theater. Uh, before I go, I guess I should talk with you, see if you have anything new to say. They say he has donned the garb of his murdered father. Is it true? The things you found out? You don't have to comfort me. Just tell me if it's true. Is there a hope that you're wrong? Oh. She must be talking about the plague, of course. Well, I can't say that it's absolutely confirmed, but it's a pretty good chance of it. I've learned a lot of things in the last couple of days that I would have never considered to be true before. The sand dirt. Is it true? Has Simon died of the sand pest? Hmm. There's nothing I can say that says it's, you know, I'm not exactly sure. Pretty sure, but I, it's it's true. It's not completely confirmed. This says it's unclear, but then I say it's most, li most likely they were struck down by chicken box, which nah, that's bullshit. Um, I, I guess I'll just commit to it. He has. Why are you so scared? Then we need to run away from here, Daniel. Immediately. Even if we have to move exclusively by foot, we need to go now. We will die in the step, of course. But at least it won't be as excruciating. Uh... Can you actually leave? Like, if you left, wouldn't that just end the game? No. There's still too much left to do. I can't leave, Ava. But I can help you leave. No. I won't leave this place without you either. But we can't stay here. I'm not afraid of death, you know. I once jumped off a building site and only survived by a miracle. But I don't want to die of, of this. Please, 
Let us all leave. You've only known me for several hours. So what? What do you suggest? A freight train full of meat, leather, and raw materials departs from the station every month. Women of the kin bid it farewell with sorrowful songs and mourning. That's the ritual. Curious? I'd like to have a look at it. Living people are forbidden to get on that train. The only person allowed to come aboard is the deaf and dumb Odong driver. Only he can guide the train through the steppe. An Odong? Who is that? An Odong means he who holds him by the horns. That's what the people that bring in bulls from the steppe are called. Can we bargain with the driver? No, he's deaf and dumb. Moreover, he's not quite a man. His position is sacred to him. There is a way out, though. I think I know of a man who could intimidate even a deaf and dumb Odong. Really? Who is it? Andre Stamaton, the architect. He's a very menacing and strong man. He treats me in a slightly condescending manner. But you can speak to him on my behalf. He won't refuse. And I think even Andre doesn't want to rot of the sand plague. Wait, isn't that person on my list of people I need to protect? Andre Stamaton? But, as much as I'd like to protect her, I don't think I can let anyone leave this freaking town. We do need to quarantine the entire place. It's way too damn dangerous if this got out. No, Ava. No one leaves the town. We need to quarantine the place. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm having chest pain. So yeah, looks like you can still say, sure, let's get out of here, but no. I I'm really curious what that would do, but no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Hey, wait a minute. Is that... Oh shit. I think that's uh, a robber. Yep. I saw the knife in his hands, and I recognize him from when I played before. Don't you fucking kill him! Mm. Oh, come on! That was a perfect shot! <laughs> Jesus, three bullets. Infected yesterday, 23 people. What? How do I know this? in which the Bachelor gets to restructure authority as an equal and accept emergency powers. I, I wish I had time to read the rest of that stuff. How do I know all that stuff, though? It's weird that it's telling me. And that's a lot of people infected. 23. Shit. Ooh, so much money. It's a lot of money. 500. Unfortunately, I shot, what, three of my shots? So that means I have two left, I believe? Does it say how many shots I've got loaded? Eh, it doesn't. Pretty sure it's two. Two more. I'm gonna have a million bottles of water. Alright, the theater. The town theater. There it is. Let's go. There, the symbol on the bottom left. What does that mean? Is that like the, the zone? Does that designate like the zone? You know, the step versus the... I don't know what the name of the other regions are. 
Excuse me, you traded in water, right? Demonic person? Right, bandages for water. How much? Five waters. For a bandage? I mean, I don't need this much water. So, sure. I kind of do have an obscene amount of water. There, oh no, I've only got eight bottles left. Horrible. Oops. Alright, so forwards, and then we'll hit the wall. And then go right to get into the theater. I should make a perma save. Let's rummage through the cans. Even the wisest of men may be so indifferent in ordinary matters, but they are seldom so in their most serious affairs. Even the wisest of men oh God, don't may say be that again. so indifferent in ordinary matters, but they are seldom so in their most serious affairs. And this person is also on my list of people that I need to make sure stay alive. Mark Immortal or Immortal. The theater welcomes the distinguished audience at any time. There's a performance of the masks every evening, and the blood gets rinsed off every night. The rest of the time slots are filled with a puppet show. But that's not all we have. Magic tricks, fortune telling, dream reading. Whoever has eyes, let them see. But it's empty at the moment. That is a deceiving impression. The theater is small. But it holds quite a few secrets. Like the mime who is currently picking the threads from your clothes. Or the mask who is sewing your fate for the next few days from those threads. What is in store for me? Your fate isn't bound yet. It will take time, effort, and of course your direct participation. Come to see us every evening. We'll show you how you're doing, bit by bit. I will definitely come by. Changeling went to the dangerous and the suspicious as an envoy of death itself. The three heads of the dragon are facing three different directions. Three powerful families. Three clans are overturned by the wind. This wind got in through the breach torn by Simon's death. How will they cope? Will they be able to come to an agreement? The masks do not know the answer to that question. And who does? The masks are two, but the families are three. I suspect the extra family is just that. An extra. It's superfluous. Someone will have to let go of their power, before their fellow men remember a different art of letting. Which of the three? You don't need me to tell you that. The answer is yours. They're so different. Which one do you prefer? You came to this town. And now there's one more piece on the board. You're not a queen, of course, but a rook, at least. It's up to you. Thanks. I get to choose which family is extra. Okay, so come in the evenings and there'll be a show here. I will certainly come before going to sleep. Mm. 
Now I'm just on the diligent lookout for any more robbers. I remember when I played years ago, I kind of tried to farm the robbers to scrape by because they do have so much money. And that's honestly the only thing that kept me going for a long time, is just farming money from killing those people. Because you can kill them and it's actually good for your reputation. Because they're bad people. So keep a lookout for them. They're important. Alright, what the hell do I do now? Yeah, I don't even have a quest for today. I guess I just visit the people that I like, so let's go visit the uh, the canes, of course. The people who are important to me must be visited. Hopefully Ruben is there and can tell me something about what's been happening. I love how the people talk about their headaches and about the the vapors coming from the plants, and the fact that the air seems heavy, and it really does. It's such an oppressive atmosphere. It looks foggy. You can't see very far into the distance. I can feel that. I can feel the, the vapors, the oppression. in the morning. Still plenty of time. I think I'm having fever heat. Anything new, Victor? There's buzzing in my ears. Uh, do I actually want to say any of these things? You wanted me to find the murderer for you? I have, but no one would listen to me. Yes, Georgie is beside himself. However, I don't have the power to defy his orders. He is the eldest in the family. I'm doing everything I can to make him face the terrible truth. Simon wasn't immortal, but that neither entitles nor compels us to despair. What can I do for you? Before you leave this place, please, save as many people as you can. I will reward you for every life you save. If only I could, I would get myself tools and medicine and walk around the town curing the infected. I'll do everything I can. I've said this many times. Yeah, it looks like there's lots of options everywhere for trying to say I want to leave. Who is it walking upstairs? But I really don't want to leave. I need to try to help these people. All right, let's see if Georgie's maybe come around. Maybe Reuben? Or maybe Reuben's finished all the preparations. We can finally do the examination and that will convince Georgie. Hmm, Reuben's not in here, huh? No? Few people know death. We only endure it. Usually from determination and even from stupidity and custom. Do we still have a shred of hope? There is going to be an outbreak in the town. Face the truth, Judge. We cannot bring your brother back, but we can avert another tragedy. I do not wish to believe this. I need the truth, but I need it proven, not based on revelations. If what you say is true, Doctor, the labor of our life is condemned. We will seek a different answer till the very end. Oh, 
A wise man once dropped a coin in the dark, but kept looking for it under the streetlight only because there was more light there. Need I say that he found nothing? It is you who wants to look under the street lamp. I'm encouraging you to make another journey into the darkness. Wait, I have a letter from the powers that be. They are also writing about an epidemic. Wait, what? When did that happen? Is that what I saw at the beginning of the day? Was that the epidemic from... in a letter that I got? If that's what that was, then that should have been communicated a lot more clearly. I'm very confused. When did I get this letter? But what for? You said you trust my opinion. Well, here it is. Simon has died of plague. Admitting he died like that means letting the killer escape. If we acknowledge that no murder took place, the murderer will have a chance to flee. I need to know what exactly it was that sufficed to end Simon's life. Do not mistake it for senile obstinacy, Doctor. It's my final attempt to save us all. Fine, then I'll bring you the proof you need. Somehow? I don't know how. How do I bring you the proof? Uh, maybe I need to find Reuben at his place. I probably need to go to Reuben's place, right? I'm guessing he's there. Few people know death. We only endure it. Who is... Yeah, nothing more to say to him. I guess I've got to go to Reuben's place. It's the only way I can find proof, right? I also kind of want to talk to the other families. Okay, well, I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. Yeah, so right now it's also once again one of those kind of aimless periods. I don't have any quests, I don't have any other tasks. I kind of have my own quest, which is I need to find proof to convince him, to convince Georgie, that there is a plague. It seems like that's something I have to do. So I'm thinking the most fruitful way to, like the most fruitful course to take to try to actually make that happen is probably go to Ruben's place, hope that he's there, talk to him, hope he's prepared all the stuff, and maybe we can exhume the body and find proof. Also, since the Canes don't want to be cooperative, perhaps talking to the other major houses will help me uh, maybe they're, they'll be willing to lend their resources to do something that would maybe hurt the Canes. Because if the Canes don't want to do something, maybe the other houses will want to help me. If for no other reason than to mess with the Canes, because they don't like the Canes, of course. But the first thing I think is definitely going to be to go to Ruben's place. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to visit Ruben.